This is the College of Santa Fe CMS 321 Database Structures and Analysis of Algorithms Lecture for Binary Search Trees. I'm Carl Horrock. This is a binary tree. It's an empty one. Uh, once we uh, put a few values in here, we'll have what's called a binary search tree. Uh, if uh, if you follow along, I will attempt to fill this in. Put the letter A there. Maybe the letter B there. The letter C down here. letter D there. Remember with a binary search tree the left child is always less than the right uh, the uh, the parent and the right child is always larger than the parent. You'll notice that it can't be B C D because this node here is the left child it has to be less than its parent. Even so, everything down this subtree has to be larger than, in this case alphabetically greater than, the parent B. So certainly A couldn't be anywhere down this tree. Let's continue. Up here we'll have the letter E. Everything to the left is less than E. Everything to the right, of course, will be greater than E, so F. G. There's our completed binary search tree. And we now want to take a look at what happens when we do a right rotation. In this case, a right rotation about the root. It's going to take this node, move it down here, this node promote it upwards. Now you'll notice things are starting to get a little crowded. Well, let's stretch these guys out just for visibility's sake. You can see that the right child of, of what once was the root is now is still the right child even though it's been demoted one level. And likewise the left child of what once was the left child of the root has has been promoted but is still a left child. The only problem is these guys uh, E and D <coughs> are uh, uh, looking pretty well stretched out of place. So uh, let's reconnect this one just in a prettier way. Let's see that will be that will probably be uh, the that will probably be from the uh, insert pictures toolbar and I'm gonna go get a connector and now I can connect E to B drag that into a these guys into a little more graceful alignment Now we've got to do something with this DC subtree, which used to be a right child of B. There's only one place to attach it. And that's as a right child, or excuse me, as a left child to E. So that's our right rotation. In this case, we have promoted node B, demoted node E. Uh, left the left child A alone, left the right child uh, FG alone. The only change we had to do was disconnect node the subtree anchored at uh, D from node B and reconnect it to node E. Left rotation goes exactly backwards, easy to uh, do in the opposite direction. 
Nice thing about a rotation is it takes a constant amount of time because all you're doing in terms of the data structure that underlies a binary search tree is you're moving around a handful of pointers uh, to change which child links to which parent. More on that later. For now, I'm going to cut this short so it'll fit up on YouTube.